Hello guys, this is Jamil and you are watching J Academy and in this part we are going to tell you about how to represent a binary re representation of your given market basket transactions. So we will see that we have a market basket transaction which I have shown you in the previous video where you have your transaction ID and the item purchased for that corresponding transaction ID we are going to represent this data into a binary representation. So how are we going to construct that? Okay, so the first thing is that you have to find out what is the total number of items in your database or data set. So here we found out that we have bread, milk, diapers, honey, eggs and cola. Okay. So when you are making the transaction, your market basket transaction to a binary representation, we are going to mark those items as one if that item is present in that transaction. And if the item is absent, we are going to mark in the binary representation as zero if it is absent from the that specific transaction ID. For example, if you see the first transaction ID, your bread and milk is present okay so what are we going to do is that in the column where you have bread you make it one and milk you make it one the rest of them will be zero okay similarly we are going to see the second transaction id and in the second transaction id what are present bread is present so in this column of bread we will make it one diaper is present honey is present and egg whereas milk is not there so it will be zero and cola will also be zero okay let's see the third transaction i hope you are getting it right now and i want you to pause this video and complete the other three transaction id and then you can check out the final answer so we have number three we have got milk then you have diapers then you have honey and cola rest are all zeros and the fourth one is bread, milk, diapers, honey, these two are zero and the fifth one is your bread, milk, diapers, cola and honey and eggs are zero. So what is the benefit is that when you see this binary representation you can easily make out which are the items present in your transaction ID and the analysis of, of doing the problem with respect, with respect to binary representation is very fast. Okay, that's all for this video. Let's meet in the next video. Bye-bye.